The English language is sometimes so confusing. I mean, really, where do they come up with oxymorons like pretty ugly or vegetarian meatballs, jumbo shrimp, and even civil servant? And the definition of words is constantly changing. I remember when bad meant wrong, now it means good. Sick used to mean ill, now it means amazing. Thongs used to be flip-flops, now they're women's underwear. Ozone is one of those confusing words. Do you kind of recognize it, but not sure from where and what it means? One definition of ozone is in the stratosphere, the highest layer of the atmosphere which protects the Earth by filtering and absorbing damaging UV rays from the sun. That's bad. By that I mean, that's good, right? Parenthetically, when we lived in Australia, where there is a tremendous concern that there is a hole in the ozone shield, which is causing a much higher incidence of skin cancers. The Aussie school children are required to wear large billed hats with a short curtain covering their neck just to protect them. The most common usage of the term ozone is to define the layer of air closest to the earth, which contains pollutants formed by the reaction of sunlight with hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. Another name for this ozone layer is smog. You've heard the new watchwords of greenhouse gases, global warming, and climate change. Ozone number two is at fault. That's bad, bad, right? The last definition of ozone is designated as O3, which is the purest form of oxygen. O3 is formed naturally when some bands of UV light interact with water vapor, such as at waterfalls and ocean waves. Some reports indicate that the pure oxygen is part of the reason you just feel better at the beach. I know I do. Another natural source of O3 is in electrical storms and accounts for the chlorine-like smell that can often be noted during lightning displays. O3 is very unstable and only lasts for minutes before returning to O2, therefore it cannot be stored. O3 ozone is a powerful antioxidant and as a number of positive uses have been developed to utilize its substantial qualities. There are now ozone devices small enough to be placed in your refrigerator that are effective in slowing spoilage and keeping foods fresh longer. O3 is a strong disinfectant and is now a regular add-on device to swimming pool and spa equipment, which helps to sanitize the water so the need to use harsh chemicals like chlorine and bromine is reduced. There are ozone generators that are used to purify and deodorize indoor air that are helpful for those with respiratory allergies. O3 has been found to be effective against bacteria, yeast, molds, and even the dreaded parasites of Giardia and Cryptosporidium. An increasing number of water treatment facilities have included ozonation as an integral part of their processing routine. Noted oxidative therapy expert Dr. Robert Rowan says that ozone effectively inactivates viruses, even the ones that cause the dreaded Ebola. Ozone can be bad, bad, or good, bad, or even awesomely sick, and you can scrub the smog by ozonating the ozone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. To receive more health videos like this one, head on over to youtube.com slash sunwarriortribe and subscribe.